Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Bill. Today, today, which is Saturday, I will be preparing a pork shoulder picnic for uh, tomorrow's celebration for uh, my, my favorite dog, uh, Bully Boy, who is one year with us. Aww. So, what we're going to do with this pork shoulder is we're going to prepare it let it sit in the, in the fridge for a little while or for a few hours and uh, I'm gonna start cooking this bad boy tonight so that it'll be done by tomorrow afternoon. Um, it's gonna be a simple rub, all right? Uh, and we're gonna prepare it and let's get to it, all right? Um, all right, so let me show you what I've done so far, what was done so far. What I did was, is I washed the, I washed the pork shoulder down and I pinned the, the skin back. Okay, I peel the skin back because I'm gonna make sure that I season all sides of the meal of pork. Let me tell you what I'm using. All right, it's a simple rub that I picked up from TJ Maxx. Okay, and uh, and it's a Stonewall Kitchens Carolina rub, and I picked it up. I don't know if you can see this. I picked it up from TJ Maxx, but I think it was uh, $4.99. All right. So uh, it's a it's a it's a simple rub uh, has uh, some pork some pork seasonings in there and to that to that seasoning I'm gonna add a quarter cup of brown sugar okay so that I'm gonna mix all of that in all right let's put this back here because let's mix the spices first all right if you can see I have a I have a quarter cup of brown sugar there and the reason why I want to mix it is because I want to add a little more sweetness to the rub. And when I smoke the meat, the brown sugar, for whatever reason, I find the brown sugar helps helps uh, create a nice bark to the uh, to whatever I'm cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a nice mix. Take a quarter cup of, uh, of butter, and I'm gonna let it get room temperature because I do want to create a taste. recap what I did I, I, I I'm not sure if I explained it hundred percent what I was doing all right so I poked holes into the uh, pork shoulder um, and uh, I created a paste with the uh, with the spices and some butter I when I after I poked the holes into the uh, pork shoulder I stuffed the uh, I stuffed the holes with the, uh, the paste mixture that I created with the butter and the spices all right, I I seasoned uh, I seasoned the pork shoulder all around with uh, with the dry rub, as you can see. I hope you can see it. All right, it has a nice, really nice color to it. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes before I refrigerate it, because I want the I want the spices to meld into the uh, pork shoulder before I start moving it around, because I do want to. I do want to season the top of the fat cap a little bit so it create uh, so it, it absorbs some flavor as well because I'm hoping I'm hoping uh, it's not a it's not a usual occurrence that when you make pulled pork you have crackling but what I'm hoping to do is is that I'm hoping to cook the uh, pork shoulder a certain way that I'll be able to remove the uh, the the skin the the, the fat layer of, of, of skin and create a crackling after the pork shoulder is cooked okay so I'm gonna let it sit and then I'm going to season the other side and uh, let's see what happens all right then I'm gonna refrigerate it and I will see you tonight hey so okay this is what I've done so far uh, I peel back the skin I season the uh, pork shoulder all the way around and uh, I let it sit out here at room temperature for about two and a half to three hours. Okay, it's ready to go on the grill, it's ready to go on the smoker. I just came back from the Mets game. We won the ball. Oh, I, I say we because I'm a Mets fan, but I'm not part of the team. But you know what? As a fan, I guess I am part of the team. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we seasoned this bad boy up. I 
I got the smoker going. 180 degrees. It's 11 o'clock at night, or it's 11:25 right now. I probably put it in at about 11:30. Do is I'm gonna use a rack. I'm not gonna put it in on in this tray. I'm gonna take it out of the tray. I'll let you take a look at it. Oh wow! Look at how pretty. Okay. Look at all that juice. All that juice that's been released. All right. All right. Uh, it's been sitting out here, like I said, at room temperature. I'm gonna transfer it from this tray. Uh, to a cookie sheet, okay? And, uh, and I'm gonna put it into the smoker on the cookie sheet itself. The reason why I'm using the cookie sheet is because once I have the pork shoulder on the cookie sheet, I can move it around, I can transfer it, I can, you know, shift the position from where it's at at the smoker so it can get more smoke, more heat, more flavor. Um, and, uh, and when I go to remove it to work on it, I can just pick up the tray and carry it out rather than putting my hands onto the pork shoulder at all times, okay? I'll see you in the morning. I uh, hope you have a good night. And, uh, my boy Bear is out. Good morning. So I just woke up. Brush my teeth, wash my face, and uh, I'm gonna take a first look at this uh, pork shoulder here. Um, I admit to you guys, I woke up at about five in the morning to check on it, and uh, I did not like the texture of the pork shoulder. So uh, this might be our first fail, guys. But I'll let you take a look at it, so so you can judge for yourself. It has good color, it has good bark, and it has good taste. But it's just not, it's just not there texturally, the way I want it to be. So, uh, again, we'll see what happens, man, all right? Hey, what's up, fam? All right, so, a little update on the pork shoulder. I, uh, I removed it from the smoker. I wrapped it in a little, tightly in aluminum foil. I was gonna do uh, butcher paper, but I decided on aluminum foil because I wanna bring the, uh, texture of the uh, pork shoulder uh, not that I want to bring the texture of the pork shoulder I want to make the texture of the pork shoulder a little more uh, pliable uh, it's, it's tough and again it seems like a failure but uh, I'm working it man and I'm hoping for the best so I'm gonna show you how I wrapped it I wrapped it nice and tightly so all that moisture stays stays in and uh, I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping that wrap, that aluminum foil wrap uh, uh, just uh, makes it moist, okay? So here you go. I wrap it nice and tightly. All right, I also, I also removed the skin from uh, uh, the skin cap from the pork shoulder before I wrapped it. And what I did was I put the, I put the skin into my other smoker um, in hopes of <coughs> in hopes of making crackling okay so uh take a look at that all right i'm running uh yo i'm running back and forth today so i got the traeger going and i got the little pit boss going uh i'm hoping for the best <laughs> i'm hoping for the best you know i've been trying to figure out how do i look directly into the camera holy cow I'm, I'm, where is it? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll see you later. Okay. So, the moment of truth has come for the pork shoulder. All right. It's been resting. It's been resting now for uh, 25 minutes. Uh, they say you know, the rest for at least a half hour or 15 minutes or whatever, but I can't wait any longer. I've been at this for a while now. Let's 
aussi. So good. for a while you could tell you you're looking at it right now it just all the meat just ripped apart um, all the meat just ripped apart and uh, I think uh, I think I hit it I just need to I need to know what the flavor is like and we are making some pulled pork sandwiches like in like five seconds you saw me, uh, you saw me shred it apart. You saw the bone come out. I'm really excited. I, I thought I messed this one up and you know it because throughout the whole vid, I was saying how, how worried I was, but I'm about to build my first pulled pork sandwich. All right, I put my, I put my bread, right? And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited because uh, I think this is going to be a success. Right. Nice hefty portion of pork. Okay. Some of my sugar lips barbecue sauce. Oh yeah. Some pickles. Oh my gosh, I think I did it. And here you have it. Bear's first pulled pork sandwich. Now there's only one thing left to do. <laughs> only one thing left to do, and you know what that is. You know, I was worried. It's a success. We can all cook. We just gotta try. We can all cook. We just have to try and put ourselves out there. Listen, your boy Bear is out, and remember to smoke them if you got them, because I'm gonna smoke one after I eat this. Alright? See you later. Bear's out. <laughs>